Okay, good morning. Today is January 7th, and I think in the United States, we refer this to the day after our White House or our Capitol was um, attacked and our president was certified the winner of the election. Um, and we are up at six o'clock this morning with Macy and Angie, and we're gonna do the Saturday Yacht. The Saturday Yacht focus is on C7, and C7 is just the base of the neck and really just neutralizing it, so kind of pulling it back. Often in our poses, we'll be lifting up. And um, our integration will be a 30 second wall sit. And a wall sit is just coming to the wall, keeping your feet parallel and dropping down to thighs parallel. And we'll hold it for 30 seconds together. Calf raises, just really coming way up on the ball mounds of the feet, lifting and lowering. Jump squats, one of my favorites right next to frog leaps. The, you're gonna come down, drop, and then jump up. And we'll do six of those together. That's three rounds for integration. Our workout is a 21-15-9, 21-15-9. And we have push-ups, chair reflies, air squats with a knee up, block taps, and line hops and bicycles. So the first exercise of push-ups, the yod push-up is way wider than a chaturanga. I will usually do them with my knees down. And so the yod push-up is just wide down and up. And again, it's 21, 15, 9, 21, 15, 9. The chair reflies is chair pose, yoga chair pose, arms wide, and then bringing them in and pulling them out. Air squat knee up, it's squat down, alternating knee, squat, alternating knee. Block taps, designed to have a block in front of you, and you're going to jump and tap and jump and tap. Often the blocks get kicked, so you wanna go through the motion even if you don't have the block there. I will say it's a, it's a better exercise if the block is there because you feel a lift more than if you're just stepping. Did you see it, Angie? It's just, we just go step, 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 step. And then um, line hops, invisible line center of your mat, jumping back and forth. And then bicycles. And then the bicycle, the key is to keep your knees over your pelvis and then you're pressing out and lifting, pressing and lifting, pressing your head back into your hands to create that integration in the upper back and neck. Questions? Child's pose. And this morning, use the yoga part as a place to really find breath and create focus. Accentuate your ujjayi breath in and out. One more breath. And then downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths and down dog, really reaching your hands forward, reaching through your feet and your heels. And then what's kind of nice is to, with your legs long in your down dog, keep your left leg, your left foot pressing through the floor and really bend your right knee and press back into the left hamstring, hip and glute. And then take the right heel down, pause. And then lift the left ball mound up, really bend the knee, press back into the right hip, glute, hamstring. And then straighten both legs again. Ragdoll, top of the mat. And right here, eyes open. Your drishti is the back of your mat. And really move your air. Find the space and the base of your lungs. Drop your hands. Heel toe your feet in. 
Lengthen your spine, fold down. Press into the floor, rise up mountain. Just an extra breath in mountain, reach up, maybe hands back, inhale, fold forward, exhale. Lift and lengthen in breath. Step back, low push up out breath. Up dog in. Take an extra breath here. Let your knees drop. Really press your hands, draw your shoulders back. Bring your head, neck neutral, pull your neck back and then look up, breathe out and then gently press back to down dog. In breath, out breath, step forward. Lengthen your spine, fold in all the way up extended mountain, fold down, breathe out. Moving with breath, lengthen, low push up, empty. Up dog, shoulders back, down dog, empty your air. In and breathe out, step forward, lengthen, Fold all the way up, fold all the way down, half lift, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, three breaths, in and out, in, Out. Last one in. Breathe out. Step forward. Lengthen. Fold. Chair. Fold forward. Half lift. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Warrior one, right foot forward, root down, rise up. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left side, warrior one. And Chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. One breath cycle in, breathe it out. Step or jump forward, lengthen your spine, bow. Inhale to chair, exhale fold. Lengthen, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Warrior one, right leg. Low push up. Up dog, down dog. Left leg, warrior one. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, step or jump forward, lengthen and fold. Chair, fold forward, half lift, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Warrior one, right foot. Low push up. Up dog. Down dog. Left side. And low push up. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Empty. 
Lift your right leg up and bend stock and open hip over hip. Flip your dog. Really root into your feet, expand, opening from knees to armpit, breathe in and out. Down dog. Side plank, right arm down. Just move through the poses, let your body awaken, breathe in, and then chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left leg up and bend, stack and open. Staying here is an option or flip the dog. If you're flipping, you really wanna get that space, knees to armpit opening. Downward facing dog. Side plank, left arm down. Drishti goes up, inhale. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Crescent lunge, right foot forward. Twisting crescent lunge. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle lunge. Warrior two, half moon. You can use your block, go straight in. Root down, lift up, three, two, and fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Left foot, crescent lunge. Twisting crescent lunge. Stay with breath. Warrior two. Reverse. Extended side angle. Root into both feet. Warrior two, half moon. Press down to lift up for three, two, one, fold, chair, twist right. Use your feet, you press down on your feet, press out, engaging the outer edges of your thighs. One more breath, fold forward, big toe pose. Release, heel toe the feet back in, lengthen your spine, then fold. Use your inhale chair. Use your exhale twist, left. Reaching the tailbone down and back, crown of your head forward. Breath in, again. Last one, fold forward. Gorilla pose.
Release your feet, heel toe your feet back in, lengthen your spine, breathe out, extended mountain, eagle. Go airplane. Full breath, empty it out. Wrap eagle. Inhale. Squeeze. Extended mountain. Left side eagle. Airplane. Eagle. Last breath in. Empty, extended mountain. Let's do the dancer on each side. Create some opening in the front. Bend your standing leg, really open up. Kind of create that resistance, press back with your foot, using your thigh, lift with your glute, inhale, exhale, just one more, inhale, and then foot down, exhale. We'll go left side. Create action though. Flex your foot, reach your heel up, press back, like you're pressing your toes back so that the thigh engages. And then lift from there, three, two, last one, and foot down. I'm content, you ready to get started? <laughs> Warmed up? Okay, we're gonna go to the wall. We'll start with a wall sit. Let me get a drink real quick. I have to clear my space a bit too. Okay, you ready? And find your spot, go. Keep your drishti forward. Lift your shoulders up and back and pull your head back. Loosen your jaw. Choose a drishti. And stop, calf raises. You can go parallel and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six jump squats. I like prayer hands for these. Press down one, two, three, four, five, and six. Back to the wall. Set up and go. Shoulders up back, drishti set, draw in, ribs toward the pelvis. And out, calf raises, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Jump squats, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, my quads are already burning. <laughs> Here we go. Wall sit, set it up, line it up, go.
Think about what you can do to take the heat off of where you're feeling it. So if you're feeling it in the quads, like I am, you'll press down with your feet and pull back a little more. Try to get hamstring and glutes involved. Keep lifting, crown your head up. Shoulders back, your she set. And up. Whew. Calf raises and go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last jump squat. <laughs> Angie's already on it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we'll get started with the I'm gonna turn on some music. We're gonna set up, we'll start with it goes push-ups, cherry flies, air squats, walk taps, line hops, bicycles. I'll keep telling you. Let me grab some music, maybe a drink of water. <laughs> Don't fall asleep, Mace. Stay with us. You got it. Oh. Stay with it. Okay. Get set up. Hands wide. And go. 21 first. Go at your pace. You can go fast or slow. You do not have to go my pace. So you gotta get loose with the henny and the coke. Three, two, one, girls wanna have fun. If the man don't dance, he's done. Tell him move on. Get the man gone. Now can I get a coke with my rum? Keep going. After 21, it's cherry flies at your own pace. You can go slow. If you don't complete the whole workout, it's okay. Stay in chairs. Sing slower. Now we have air squat in the air. Back to the top. You gotta get next in line. Fifteen push ups wide. And cherry flies. Locked 
15, line hop. <coughs> Bicycles. Back to the top nine. Nine push ups when you're ready. Chair replies. Nine. Put me at nine. Off tap. Nine. Line hot. Bicycles. Back up, it's back to 21. 21 push ups. You can go slow, you can go fast. Keep the back of the neck lifted, you seven to the side. Breathe. Terry flies. Twenty-one. Good job, Macy. Terry flies. Line hops. Bicycles. Back up to the top. After bicycles, we have 15 push ups. Deep breath in and go. Keep your head and neck in line. Cherry flies next. Fifteen. Make sure you're in chair. Air squat, knee up, big squat. Block tap. Ordinary 
Line hot. Fifteen bicycles. Back up for nine. This is our last round. Nine push ups. Get them integrated. First T set in front of your mat. Oh, cherry flies. It's nine. Air squat, knee up. One, two, three. You got it, Macy. Come on. You got it. It's nine. Lock that. Line hops. Just nine. Goes really fast. Bicycles. Last set. Just nine. Whew. When you finish, oh, take a deep breath, get a drink. And stand up at the front of the mat, top of the mat. <sighs> Real deep breathing. Well done. High five. Okay, from the top of the mat, reach up. Take your right wrist, pull up, and then a side bend. Back to center, opposite. Starting to control the breath to Ujjayi. Back to center. Nice and slowly bend your knees and fold forward. Drop your head. Breathe in. And out. Step back, lower down, low push up, then up dog. And down dog. Bring your right foot forward to a lunge. Hands on the ground, press into both feet. Right thigh parallel to the floor. And just hold. Press back into your back leg as you're pressing down into your foot, lifting from the hamstring. Gentle stretch the quadricep. Drop your knee. Bring your hands to the inside of your right foot. Heel to the right foot out just a little bit, but keep it still knee facing forward for a breath or two. And then keep heel toeing at the foot out. Come to the edge of your foot, let your thigh open, abducting gently. Still pressing down through your left foot to keep the pelvis neutral. You can use a block under your arms or you can come down to your forearms. I use a block and come to my forearms so that I'm still slightly elevated. And then you can gently open your thigh. If it's in you today, you can bend your back leg, reach back for a quad stretch. 
Sometimes that's a go, sometimes it's a no-go. Be gentle. And then release. Come back to center, step back to down dog. Step your left foot forward for a long lunge. Again, starting fully engaged, using your fingertips to press down, but pressing through both feet, hugging into the center. And gently drop your back knee. Bring your hands down. Turn your toes out, come to the edge of your foot. If you're ready, bend your back leg. Gently release. Down dog. Right leg forward, half pigeon. Double pigeon. Unravel, transition to half pigeon left side. I like a little navasana here. You don't have to do that. It helps me can we reintegrate. Half pigeon left leg forward. One more breath. Double pigeon. Extend your legs out in front of you. Right leg in. 
folds over your left leg. Switch sides. Extend both legs, big reach up, fold forward. Hands behind, reverse tabletop. Big breath in. Come down, take your right leg over the left and do a twist. Back to center, left leg over right, twist. Come to center. Happy baby. Start to really let your breath come down. You can go straight to Shavasana for here, from here, or you can take legs up the wall for a few breaths for the inversion. I'll talk through the legs up the wall. So legs up the wall, relax your upper body. You can let your eyes close. Transition Shavasana. Complete relaxation. Gently bring your knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in. Roll to your side. Press to your seat. Hands to heart center. Thumbs to forehead. Namaste. Yay! I always feel super proud when I'm able to 